Well, hello, my crafty friends. Welcome. Well, it's May 1st, and I get to show you the new card box of the month for May. This one is super cute. It's called Coffee and Friends. I'm going to show you what it includes, and then we'll make a few card projects with the contents. So you get a cute little packet of sequins and a lollipop. The sequins match beautifully with the cardstock and the ephemera pieces. There is also going to be a $25 gift certificate giveaway, and I'll have a link to the raffle copter in the description box below. So the first thing I'm going to show you are these darling stamp set. This one's called Yum Yum. I adore this little hamster, and you can have him or her holding the cupcake or the donut or the coffee. The next one is called I Heart Coffee. And look at all of the cute images in this set. I think my favorite is the little croissant and the mug with the heart on it. They're all just darling. The next set is called Drink the Coffee, and look at all of these fabulous bold sentiments. These are going to be fun to ink up. I'm thinking ombre with Distress Oxide inks would be really fun to do. You get two packs of ephemera die cut shapes this time, and they again coordinate with the pattern paper that I'm going to show you in just a minute, and I'll give you a closer look at these. This one is more cutesy than the first one I showed you, but both are just fun. And then you get two packs of pattern paper. This one is called Coffee and Treats, and it's more cutesy. And they are double-sided. This one is called Coffee and Friends. And I love the beautiful colors on this second one as well. I'm going to give you a closer look at the pattern paper. Let me just make some room on my desk here. Again, this is created by the fabulous Teresa Russell. I adore her pattern paper. You get two of each, and they're double-sided. I really like the muted hues on the backs of these patterns. And you also get some polka dots, coffee cups. They're just super cute. And they're very sturdy. I love those stripes and the coffee beans. I, I don't know which one's my favorite. They're all just so fun. And I like polka dot anything, so it's just cute. Okay, the second one, again, is called Coffee and Treats. Let me move this first one out of the way. And again, double-sided. This time you get four of each pack. Look at those cute cupcakes. And then stripes on the flip side. Again, it's hard to pick out a favorite, but I really love that there's four of each. I love those polka dots because they're like kind of wonky. They're not complete circles. They're so cute. And then black polka dots. This piece right here, I think, is my favorite. I love that one with the cute coffee, coffee cups and the hearts. Okay, now I'm going to open up the ephemera die cut shape packs and show you all of the cuteness inside. Let's start with this one first. And I love the size of these die cut shapes. They're a good size to fit on the fronts of your cards. But look at those donuts with the little animals on them, the panda and the cat, it's so cute. That was pretty quick, but you'll get a closer look here when I start putting the cards together. And then there's a lot of great sentiment pieces in this pack get cookies and all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, let's get into card number one. I'm going to rely heavily on the pattern paper and the ephemera pieces for these cards. And all three cards are going to be mini slimline. And these are a little bit larger than the regular slimline. These are three and a quarter by six and a quarter. So I'm going to use this pretty muted blue pattern paper on my first card. I'm going to take the corners of this card down so it doesn't pop up. The cardstock I use is very heavy weight. It's 110 pound and it just doesn't lay flat. I had to go straight for those donuts. They're just too cute. I wanted my sentiment to match the little heart um, on the coffee mug. So I'm using a Copic marker that matches it really closely. And I'm just going to scribble that on a piece of white cardstock. And 
And then I'm going to stamp, well, I allow it to dry first, and then I can stamp out the sentiment. And this one says, we go together like coffee and donuts. I'll cut this out and fishtail the ends. And here it is all ready to put on the card. So I put some foam pieces behind the ephemera die cut shapes. I'll put the coffee mug or cup down first. And then I'm going to overlap them a little bit. And tuck the little cat behind the mug. Let's open up the sequins. I'll give you a closer look at these. I'm using a new little heart tray in my shop. It's just a very soft pink. I love pink, so I wanted to try a new color. <laughs> okay, so let's glue down the sentiment with a little bit of liquid adhesive. I'm going to just put it right over the cat donut. And now for a few of the sequins. Just using my fingers to pick these up and put them down. And that's all there is to this card except for one thing. I am going to tie a piece of black and white twine at the top and create a little bow. So super fun and super fast cards. Let's move on to card number two. Of course, more pattern paper. I have to use my favorite, these little coffee mugs with the hearts on them. I cut it down so it's a little bit smaller than my card base. Then I have a few strips of pattern paper here that I'm going to attach together. I just wanted the pink outline around this coffee. And then I can adhere this across my card. These are all going down flat so far. I have a little heart die cut shape or die cut. I cut this out with a heart die that I have in my stash and I'll adhere that down flat as well. However, the little coffee mug, I do, I am going to pop up with a foam square or two. This will give it a little bit of fun dimension. The sentiment I'm using comes from the I Heart Coffee stamp set. And it's going to say, Coffee and friends make the perfect blend. I'm going to just stamp this out on a piece of white cardstock. I'm using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. This is a nice thick ink, nice and black too. So I'll stamp this down and I'm going to fishtail one end and pop it up with more foam adhesive. I'm going to tuck it under my coffee mug. I kind of pulled up the handle of that coffee mug and now I need to add a little bit of glue behind it just to hold it down again. So it does take a little bit of extra time for these to dry when you're gluing them together because there is a sheen on these pieces as well as the pattern paper. But here's a close-up look at the finished card. I used a burlap, burlap twine bow on the top. Card number three, I'm using some pink cardstock for my card base. And then I went straight for this coffee bean pattern paper. It's so cute. I cut it out with a scallop die. And I'm using even more pattern paper to glue little rectangles on the sides. The sentiment will say coffee time. And I'm going to pop that up in the middle with some foam adhesive. This would be the perfect little card to send out to your girlfriend to tell her that it's time to get together and go drink coffee or whatever you drink. <laughs> Just time to get together. <laughs> I don't drink coffee myself, but I, for some reason, I love putting together coffee-themed cards. They are a lot of fun. And I'll put that right in the middle. The ephemera pack includes some cute little cookies. And I went ahead and added a little more shading to them to make them a little bit different color. So one is more pink and one is more brown, just slightly. And I'm going to adhere those down flat over the rectangles. So this is a hashtag hop, and if you type in the hashtag N2S for not too shabby, and then coffee, 
So it's hashtag N2S coffee. Then you'll be able to see all of the inspiration from the designers in this hop. Here's a close-up of card number three. In the picture, you'll see I did add another twine bow at the top. So make sure you enter the raffle copter for your chance to win and check out all of the other designers in this hop. I'm sure you'll see a lot of fun, crafty coffee cards in this hop. Enjoy the hop, everyone, and have a lovely day. Bye. Bye.